At square one, you construct a theory. You build it out of constructs, ideas. Your theory is a collection of ideas. Let's pretend you have a theory of intelligence. One portion of that theory is the construct, the belief, that people vary in intelligence. That is, you can see the difference between highly intelligent and normally intelligent people. In square two, you find out what other people have to say on the subject. In casual terms, you ask your friends. In formal terms, you do a literature review. A lit review is a summary of everything you can find on the subject. If you're familiar with research that others are doing, you'll read their reports. Research reports are typically found in books, professional journals, and dissertation archives. Fortunately, abstracts of most research can be found online. Start with your favorite search engine and see what you can find. Abstracts are almost always free. You also find some journal articles online are free. But in some disciplines, full versions of articles are online, but there is a fee involved. The alternative is the library. There's no fee, and there's lots of resources available. In fact, after you've done your online search, the next step is the library. Most scholarly books are not available as ebooks, so there's just no substitute for a good library. Research builds on the work of others, so read everything you can on the general area you want to explore. You want to check out what others have done so you can avoid their mistakes and incorporate their successes. When you find your first source, whether it's a book, journal, or dissertation, reading it is a good place to start. But don't overlook the reference section or bibliography. References and bibliographies are not the same. Bibliographies are suggestions of things to read. In scientific literature, references are also suggested reading, but each reference is referred to in the article. If it doesn't make it into the article, it doesn't make it into the reference section. For literature review purposes, both can be helpful. What you're looking for are more sources. You start with one source and look up all its sources. For each of those, you also look up their sources. But you're still not done. Be sure to talk to other researchers and get their suggestions. As you can tell, a literature review is a major task. Eventually, you have a list of works that is quite comprehensive, and when you've read them all, you know a lot about the subject. In square one, you described your theory of intelligence. Square two is all about input from others. What have they said intelligence is? What studies have been done? What techniques have been used? If what others say impacts your thinking, go back to square one and modify it. Then come back to square two and update your literature review. When you think you have an idea worth pursuing, move on to square three.